You're listening to Podcateers. Welcome to episode 443 of Podcateers. This week we talk about a TikTok creator who shares music history, Beauty and the Beast gets a 30th anniversary special, Anastasia gets some Disney princess recognition, the Muppets battle it out, plus a quick Pumpkin King update. We'd love for you to join the conversation on our social networks, including Instagram and Facebook, but we invite you to join us on Discord. Joining the community is super simple. Just head on over to podcateers.com slash links and click on the Discord button to join the community. A very special thank you goes out to an awesome group of people known as the FGP Squad, our podcast fairy godparents, because it's their support via Patreon that help make these episodes of Podcateers possible. As part of the FGP Squad family, you get some additional perks like exclusive discount codes for Podcateers gear, additional content like the Podcateers after show, and access to our happy hour calls, just to name a few. For more information on how you can become part of the FGP Squad family, we invite you to check out Podcateers.com com slash fgp and as always a super special thank you goes out to the fgp squad for their continued support so it's time to get this episode going uh if this is your first time hanging out with us welcome we hope that you enjoy the episode and that you come back for more and of course if you've been hanging with us for some time now welcome back friends here is episode 443 of podcateers You would think that after getting all the coughing out before, that once we started, it was going to be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, you know, it just, it's like, ha ha, I gotcha. I mean, that clap was good. <laughs> That's why they make those cough buttons on like radio and stuff. Everybody's got to cough sometimes. <laughs> Except we're not on a seven second delay, so. That's a, yeah, we're on like a three day delay. Yeah. <laughs> we got plenty yeah. of time to edit it out. Yeah, we're good. We're, we, we'll figure it out somehow, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, so I don't know how long this episode is going to go on. Everyone's kind of on the feeling a little under the weather. But I'm so sick. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a, a smoker of 37 years. Her name is Stella. Oh, and Ste- she smokes oh, that's right. four packs a day. Thank you very much. Isn't Stella also like one of our managers or something? No, that's somebody else. I don't remember their name. I have to go back and listen to those episodes. <laughs> I don't, we're going to have to start keeping notes on who our yes, manager is. Yes, I, I should have. Took, <laughs> it's probably on a notepad that I threw away. <laughs> and the voice is changing. This is Stella. This is Javi Feierstein. Oh, I don't know. I wow. I'm well, Yao, king of the rock. <laughs> dude, dude, you're going to mess yourself even more. So... So yeah, so everybody's a little under the weather this week, and so we we still wanted to put out an episode, but it might be a shorter episode than usual, uh, because quite honestly, we like getting together and talking to each other, and we like doing this. At least I do. I can't speak for anybody else, so I will speak for myself and say, I love doing this weekly, regardless of how I'm feeling. Yeah. Eh, well, eh, take it or leave it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I like I seeing like you guys recording it. No, I, You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Look forward to it every week. So I just have a few things that I think we could talk about this week. Um, but, you know, one thing that I did want to bring up is you guys know that when I can't sleep, I'm usually on TikTok at... Uh, what? forsaken hours of the night right mm-hmm. uh, and there's one tiktoker that i follow uh his account is patrick hicks 82 and it's not disney related i do want to just clear that up from the beginning but i am a big music fan you guys know that i love listening to all genres of music i love music history i love you know the origins of bands and songs and all that stuff and uh patrick has uh, an amazing way of telling stories when it comes to bands forming and artists, you know, being established as the artists that we know of today. So, uh, again, not Disney related, but if you're a fan of music and the same stuff, like knowing history and all that, uh, I recommend checking out his account. Uh, the first, I don't remember what the first one 
that I saw was anymore. But the latest one I saw was how Sublime was formed uh, a night or two ago. I saw how No Doubt was formed. Nice. Uh, and it's like the backstory to these bands is like phenomenal in some cases. Like it's like some of them just kind of feels like it was happenstance and at other times it feels like it was just totally meant to be right so yeah check it out I'll, I'll try to post at least one link over on discord so people can link directly to his account mm. and that way you get like your first story down i'll do the no doubt one because that was a pretty good one did he uh, do I one think... on the eagles because i covered that on coisney land you sure say, did land. that's an interesting yeah, story if he went in deeper than i did that would be cool that's yeah. an interesting story it is an interesting story. I definitely recommend everybody listen to that. Uh, plus, we have a new episode of Disneyland this week. Yeah, I was so. I was a I was a good boy, and I recorded it way early, <laughs> nice. not the night before. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's all good. Whenever it happens, it happens. As long as it it gets out <laughs> at some point in the week, <laughs> I guess it counts. <laughs> So, yeah, Patrick Hicks, check him out. Uh, I will post a link on Discord. I've really enjoyed the ones that I've seen so far, and uh, I think other people will too. Nice. Um, hey, speaking of, I have a couple other music-related things to talk about because, one, I just, I don't, I don't even know where my head has been on this one, but did you know that there's going to be a Beauty and the Beast 30th celebration no uh as of like four days ago yes as of five days ago uh no (laughs) yeah i i'm not exactly sure what rock i was living under that i knew that we were having i knew that it was like the 30th anniversary right but i didn't know that this thing was happening on abc i guess it's a like a wonderful world of disney type special that they're doing uh where they have Grammy award winning musicians portraying these characters like they have her playing Belle, Josh Groban, I I think is the beast. Uh, Rita Moreno was going to be narrating it. And Shania Twain was Mrs. Potts. Martin Short is Lumiere. David Allen Greer is Cogsworth. I mean, the list just goes on and on, right? Apparently, there's like 872 amazing artists and actors that are a part of this presentation. And I know that number is exaggerated because, quite frankly, I don't remember exactly how many there are. So I'm I'm looking this up to try and pinpoint when we, this was announced. And apparently, it was announced at D23 and just kind of went under the radar yeah Um, totally did i mean and there was not a lot of things announced at d23 so it's surprising that none of us saw this come through uh so yeah (laughs) it was announced at d23 and we all either forgot about it or just didn't see anything about it at all i mean i probably like we probably mentioned it at some point but it was one of those, and, and that's probably why I remember they were doing some kind of 30th anniversary thing. I just, for some reason, this just kind of flew off my radar completely. Mm-hmm. And I just, quick shout out to our friends at the Diz Insider, because it was their post on Instagram that even like fully brought it to my attention, because recently they uh, they did a post where they had the posters of a bunch of the artists that are going to be participating in this. And I'm telling you, I it was completely off my radar. It's apparently in like two days. It's on December 15th. It's going to be playing on your local ABC channel, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I'm assuming that at some point we're going to see this on Disney+. Plus. Next day. Is it next day on Disney+. Plus? Um, according to this poster, it says Thursday, 12-15, ABC. Next day, Disney+. Plus. Oh, there Perfect. you go. Then on December 16th, I shall watch it on Disney+. Plus. <laughs> Probably the same, because uh, I'm sure I'll have stuff to do. Uh, yeah, because one, we don't have ABC. You know, we've talked a, a lot about how we're cord cutters and stuff. Can I just quickly sideline on this one? Because I need to ask you a question on this. I've been thinking about all of the services that we're now paying for, mm-hmm. and I'm at a point, like, I love the fact that I could just launch an app and I can you know, watch whatever I want. 
mm-hmm. but for the most mm-hmm. part, I watch a lot of reruns because yeah. I'm usually just letting it play in the background when I'm working on something. I feel like I've come dangerously close to paying more than we were paying for cable. And I, I hate to say it, but I'm considering just going back at this point to save money. <laughs> I'll probably keep like Disney Plus, <laughs> but how, like, where do you all stand on this right now? <laughs> it's I I think you, you're not alone in feeling the the same thing because especially there's you know 40 streaming services out there if not more I'm sure there's more but there's you know each of the big companies has their own and they all come at a different price tag like all the way from like Netflix at the I think Netflix is the most expensive right now at this point. Um, yeah. if you don't yeah. and, like, don't count the Disney bundle. Um, and you know, all the way down to like, uh, I, I don't know what the cheapest one is. Apple TV is not too expensive. I don't think, but luckily we, uh, you know, my mother-in-law pays for some, I pay for some, my wife pays for some, my mom pays for some, like everybody. We just kind of, I know it's kind of frowned upon, but we kind of sh- split the bill a little bit. So it's, it's a yeah. little easier, but you know, we have HBO and Disney Plus and Hulu and Netflix, and uh, I got free Peacock, so that's uh, that's nice. <laughs> um, so that it's yeah, it's a lot. I mean, especially if you want to watch, I I don't know. I guess the nice thing about it is you can technically pay month to month with these if you really wanted to. I just don't know like how things with like accounts work like oh i i didn't pay my disney plus for a month is my account still there if i you know re-up the next month i'm sure it is like i'm I'm assuming it is but that's the one thing that would be interesting because netflix i don't know when the last time i've watched anything on netflix is i watch a lot of hulu and hbo max uh i think at disney plus are are my go-to's yeah, Netflix has been the hardest one, I think, for us to justify because uh, same, right? The last thing I remember fully watching was Cobra Kai. Oh, and wow. as soon as I was done watching Cobra Kai, I'm like, all right, cool. Back to Disney Plus, back to Hulu, back to Peacock. And that's kind of where I floated. I floated between Hulu, like Disney Plus, Hulu and Peacock for the most part. Uh, we do have a Paramount Plus mm-hmm. account as well. But the the one thing that I'm con- oh we also have HBO Max that's the other one I've been mm-hmm. floating around on HBO Max, so the the only one that I've been considering like I've been thinking about getting rid of Netflix, and seeing how that goes for a little bit, and instead getting a Sling TV account because mm-hmm. Sling would also give us like local channels and it's like yeah. it's ridiculously inexpensive it's like it starts at five dollars for all the local oh, stuff wow. and a few other things. And you can add packages just like you would. Like you can add premium channels and movie channels and all sorts of stuff as well. So I'm I'm looking into it. Uh, I know my brother has used Sling TV for a while, but he doesn't have a lot of the premium services Like because he has the apps as well. Mm-hmm. But uh, anybody that's used Sling, let me know if you like it or not. I'm going to – I'm considering it. I do have to tell you, Hazen, they do make – that's $5 a month for that. Mm-hmm. They do make this thing that's called uh, an antenna, and <laughs> <laughs> you buy that once, and you get all the local channels your heart's content <laughs> over the air. That is true. <laughs> Listen, I know exactly what you're saying, but if I'm going to try to get like other stuff like TBS and TNT and USA Network and all that... Like it's worth the five bucks a month, right? Like, but I totally get what you're saying. Like, if all I wanted was local yeah. stuff, like let's say I wanted to watch this Beauty and the Beast thing, I'll slap some rabbit ears on the TV or stick a paper clip back there, and then boom, I'll watch the Beauty and the Beast thing <laughs> on the fifteenth, cool. right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But considering that for like the five bucks, or I I think it was five dollars a month that I saw it for. Uh, considering you're gonna be getting some of that stuff, like the only other thing that I watch, uh, is raw and smackdown and i'm only i'm watching like the short versions of that on hulu because Mm -hmm. i i don't have a way to watch them on you know network tv or anything uh but smackdown is also fox sports now i think so anyway total tangent but disney plus pretty much would keep that one like that one's pretty much staying hulu's pretty much staying because we got a bundle deal and 
I really like HBO Max, man. HBO Max and Peacock have been really good to me recently, so I'm gonna keep I, those. I, I, I like think it. your uh your sling uh prices are a little old. No, uh -oh. what? No. What are they at now? I don't know. They're they're it's a sling T V services. Orange, blue, orange and blue. Orange is forty dollars a month. <gasps> blue what? is forty dollars a month. Orange and blue is fifty five dollars a month. Get that paper clip. It's it's basically <laughs> just a cable packet. Like at this point, I'm looking at these channels. It's just basically cable it's now. It's cable. Yeah. It's A and E, ABC, AMC, BBC America, CNN, Cartoon Network, Comedy Central, Discovery, blah, 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 Disney Channel, Fox News, but you know all these different things. The uh, uh, MSNBC, Nick Jr., TLC, all this stuff. Like it's just a cable packet now. That's Man, now, I got that's bad up. intel on this. That's what I was trying to say. I'm tr I was trying to figure out like, is there some sneaky Patrick package that's in here that they're like hiding? Um, but oh, I don't see no. them. But you'll have to look. You'll have to look and see. You can get dog TV for five dollars a month. Oh well, why <laughs> have I not gotten that yet? <laughs> or Hopster for five dollars a month. What oh, are these channels? Well then. I like going on these websites and seeing all these channels. <clears throat> you know, my phone, uh, I have a Samsung phone, and they have, um, what is the what is the channel that they have? It's free TV. They have uh -huh. free, and then they have Pluto TV as two services on the phone, and they have a bunch of content on there hey. as well that's absolutely free. Pluto TV. Hey, if anybody ever wants to watch Becker, you guys remember that show Becker? I think I've talked about Becker on this, Is that the on one this with, uh, uh, show before. Uh, the dude from Cheers. Yeah, Ted Danson plays yes. a grumpy doctor in like New York, and all like all the seasons of Becker are for free on Pluto TV. Nice. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Pluto TV. Um, but yeah, if Pluto TV's got some good stuff, like it's got stuff that weird stuff, like I don't know. I was what I was watching at work at lunch is episodes of Becker on Pluto TV because <laughs> I like Becker and what else am I going to watch Becker? Not at home. You do I know it's going to come up on your phone now that you mentioned it. Like That's okay. <laughs> I like, mm -hmm. I've said Becker 40 times and my phone is sitting right here. Yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll get targeted ads for a Becker action figure or something. I will be, I, you know what phone, if, if they make a Becker action figure and I get an ad for it, I will buy it. <laughs> I don't think they do. I think I'm safe because that was like a show that aired for like six seasons like 20 years ago. So I think we're okay. Uh, but you never know. You know what they should offer? Uh, I'm not uh, – I don't know about either of you, but um, when when I was younger and the DVD explosion happened, uh -huh. like I, I remember the very first show that I collected in its entirety was Smallville. After that, I just thought like, okay, well, this is fantastic, right? I can own the shows, and I had a nice rack with like everything displayed and stuff. Then I ran out of space, and so I I thought, okay, well, let's put them all into one of these big metal cases, you know, and uh -huh. save the boxes or toss some of them away or whatever the case is. But uh, I I found that there was this practical use for having all of the DVDs at one point because streaming services can pull stuff whenever they want to yeah. and more importantly they can edit what they want and they can change the show so that it's different from when you first watched it when it aired i i i'm okay with things getting edited you know for for time or for whatever the case is but for historical reference i think there should always be like the original version available somewhere and the DVDs kind of allow for that, right? Like, there's a lot of things that I have on DVD that, like, Disney Plus or Hulu or Netflix or whatever don't have any, like, reference to. So that was the practical use for it. But now I'm at the point where I feel like, like – so here's the idea. That you can buy a flash drive that has the entire season of something or the entire show of something available. Uh-huh. Right. And you right. plug it into this little device and it decrypts your drive and then you can watch it like that's how it's safe, because I know that digital copies of anything freak out Hollywood because like, well, how are you going to keep people from sharing it? I get it. Create some little encryption box or whatever. Right. So anyway, that's what we need. I don't know how I went on this tangent, but we <laughs> need flash drives with entire TV shows for us to just buy outright. Yeah, I mean, I have, I talking about buying 
series, you know, on DVD. I, I started doing that, and then we were going through our DVD collection, uh, me and my wife, this week, and I got rid of every, every one, well, but one, because I, one, they weren't complete, and two, I bought them, and then I've never watched them. They've just mm. sat there. I have the complete, <laughs> the one I kept was the complete series of The Office. I have that on DVD, yes. and uh, probably 85 to 90% of the discs have never been watched. Uh, the packages have been opened, and I looked at them and then put them on a shelf because I wanted to have them. And yeah. I still have them, uh, but I got rid of my two seasons of the A-Team. Oh, I lied. I also kept the three seasons of The Muppet Show. Uh, oh, but that's nice. because not all the episodes of The Muppet Show are on Disney+. Plus. See? And I like, that's what I'm and saying. And I like the boxes because the Miss Piggy one's fuzzy. Um, mm-hmm. Oh, I got some Muppet stuff I got to tell you today. I'm nice. so glad you reminded me. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Keep going. No, that's okay. I'm trying to remember. And then I had all but like four seasons of Everybody Loves Raymond, uh, hey, which is one of my favorite. He, they, including nice. Me. Um, and but those are on Peacock, like on the free Peacock, so I can watch yeah. them whenever I want. And it's Everybody Loves Raymond. It's always on. Like if I put on Rabbit Ears, I could find it on like uh, everywhere. You know, on a free channel somewhere. It's Everybody yeah. Loves Raymond. It's everywhere. Yeah. It's fine. Everywhere. And it's a good yeah. So I felt fine getting rid of that. Um. But yeah, it's it's just interesting to like how many DVDs do I have now that are just sitting there? How many have I bought and never watched because streaming kind of came in? I was like, oh, I'll just watch that on, you know, Disney Plus or whatever. Since it's there, who wants to go to the shelf and find the DVD and bend down and put it in the DVD player and press play. Like, you know, there's a lot of steps as opposed to grab the remote <laughs> and, you know, say, you know, Alexa, uh, play black Panther on Disney plus or whatever. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I approach it slightly different. I, I, like I said, I have a lot of these and a lot of them are in storage because I just don't have space to put them all. Uh, but I do have like complete seasons of a lot of stuff. Like Seinfeld is one, Big Bang, Friends, The Office. Like, uh, there's other stuff that people probably would never thought I have because Buffy, Buffy, I have complete or whatever was released. You know, I have all sorts of stuff. Right. The the point is that the what I did, boss. those I do not have. I, I wasn't a big <laughs> Cake Boss fan. Was, big but, cake, was it like Duff Goldman? <laughs> I was like whatever about Duff, but you know, oh, okay. he is what he gotcha. is. Um. So I. Oh. Duff, it, it, Duff is not Buddy. Okay, sorry. Not, uh, no, that's the that's, that's Ace of Ace Cakes. Of right? cakes. Ace of All right. No. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, yes. okay. 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 So way the around. Duff one, the Duff one, I liked, but the Buddy <laughs> one, I mean, he's kind we're, of we're 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 in the, the same boat here. I like the Duff one. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'll so, tell you, I watched every episode of the Ace of Cakes. I tell you what, I watched the crap I think out I of did that show. Two. I think I did two. Charm I... City Cakes. Come on. All yeah, right. That was okay. a good one too. Anyway, okay. I'm gonna... anyway, so what I the way that I solved this was and this is why I think a USB drive would be good is because I just created a media center and it took me a long time. But the stuff that mm-hmm. I really wanted to keep, I just copied it and made movie files and I have everything separated out by season and all that stuff. I have a bunch of movies that I really like, especially the stuff that's not available for streaming on any of the services right now. Mm -hmm. A lot of the, all of, all of my Marvel films, like the Marvel films are something that I always purchase on Blu-ray. So Mm -hmm. those are all on the media server. And so at any point I could just swap over to the media server, quickly watch what I want or stream a season of whatever I want. And then it's, it's fine. Right. Um, but I really do think that a USB streaming thing, even like I think Disney, if they're not going to release anything on Disney Plus that we want to watch, they should start selling complete series on flash drives. Because who doesn't want to watch, you know, the wonderful world of Disney in its entirety, you know, from back when Walt was putting the show on? Like, why isn't it on Disney Plus? Like, You've there's, been there's no <laughs> reason why something like that should not be on Disney. Plus. Maybe, maybe they're waiting for Disney 100 to happen. If that's and it, that's fine. happening. And so, fine. I don't know. I, I, that, like, I agree. Where's There's Fraggle no Rock? It's on HBO, I think. <laughs> really? Is it? I haven't even, yeah, I haven't but, even well, looked for it there. Why, Fraggle like, Rock, it wouldn't have made sense to me. Fraggle Rock was an HBO show. 
originally. No way. Yeah, it's a Jim Henson Company HBO Stop. show. Stop. I'm searching for it right so, now. So I'm like 90% sure Fraggle Rock is the HBO. Okay, movie. hold on. I'm searching for it right now. I okay. just launched the app right now. Okay, talk amongst yourselves. Talk amongst yourselves. Yeah, okay. So the Ace of Cakes, Duff Goldman is a bald guy, and he has a team of crack experts of cake people who make cakes, and sometimes the cakes are- you Are you reading the IMDb good. for this? No, no I'm just- <laughs> This is off the dome. Sometimes the customers really like the cakes, and sometimes they're a little upset, but they fix it in the end. So uh, that was on the Food Network, I'm assuming. Uh, <laughs> So, the okay. Ace of Cakes. Yeah. Breaking news. What's that? Fraggle Rock is no longer available for streaming on HBO Max. As a matter of fact, a quick Google search says that it is only available for for purchase through Vudu. Interesting. Huh. But did it did it it was at one point on HBO. It seems Sure. Like it seems. Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Apple TV has Fraggle Rock. Oh, they have the new series, I think. Yeah, they, they have, have Fraggle Rock Rock On. Okay, hold on. They have Fraggle Rock Rock On. Let's see. Did it you know what? It? Yes, it, it was originally on the home box office uh, channel and uh, CBC Television Canada, blah, blah, blah. So it was like syndicated, but HBO had the American thing originally. Well, so I think, you know I, what? Yeah. Disney Plus needs it. Yes. <laughs> so. I want to go down a Fraggle Rock on Disney Plus. You know what else we need on Disney Plus? Freaking Muppet Babies. Yes. Well, they got the new Muppet Babies. Is no, the new the Muppet old Babies old on there? One. <laughs> no. Is it? Old school cartoon. Yes, Nanny. Muppet Babies. Da, 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 da. That's what we need. Okay. I'm delirious now. Can you tell? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> uh, what were we talking about? Oh, Muppets. No. Yes. Okay. Services. I don't know. I'm sorry we took this crazy tangent for uh, streaming services. But yes, uh, let me know what you think of Sling. I had it in my notes here. That's how I remember. Uh, before I, I switch to this next thing, uh, because I told you, you reminded me of the Muppets, and I need to show you something, and I need to get your reaction. Uh, All right. I'll tell you a little story about that. But uh, since we were talking about Beauty and the Beast, we're talking about Disney princesses, we have to acknowledge uh, the the Disney princess that doesn't get a lot of acknowledgement. Can you guess who I'm going to talk to you about when I say that? Uh, Princess Sophia the First. Nah, she's acknowledged all the time. She's oh. a she's a California adventure. Uh, Princess. Uh, she comes from Di- the faraway uh, land of Fox. Fox Princess. Uh, Star Wars Princess Leia. No. No. Uh, <laughs> Fox animated and and the Hound. Uh, Copper Todd and Copper. You got Princess it. T- Princess nailed Todd. it. Princess Todd, you nailed it. Nailed it. You got it. Bravo. Uh, Anastasia. Oh, okay. 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 Ha- how often do you see Disney acknowledging Anastasia? Uh, not, I guess. I mean, it's on not Disney Plus, I believe, right? But it's, I mean, I think a lot of those properties, like Fox properties, other than the Marvel stuff that they really wanted and Avatar and stuff like that, are just kind of. Just floating out in space Just right there. now. So here's the reason I'm bringing it up. Uh, Shop Disney currently has an Anastasia mug for the 20th anniversary. 20 bucks. It's a super clean looking mug. I have to admit that uh, for for not being acknowledged all the time. Here, let me quickly bring it up so you guys can see the the images. But check this out. Oh, wow. That's pretty. Isn't it? Hey, look, you can unlock your free shipping with the purchase of $99 of or more. $800 or more. Isn't yeah. this a pretty mug? It is. Yeah. It's kind of like Christmassy a little bit. It is. It is. So for all of you Anastasia fans out there, uh, check Shop Disney because I don't know how long this mug has been up, but... It's a 25th anniversary mug for 
the forgotten Disney princess because, look, she's a Disney princess. Okay, I'm sorry. It's the same yeah. way Leia's a Disney princess. She's a Disney yep. princess. The, the new, well, she's a Fox princess in under the Walt Disney Company umbrella. The guise of. Yeah. Either way, she still is. But Okay. Okay, so back to the subject at hand. You mentioned Muppet, and so now I have to bring up three words that I don't know you've ever heard before, and you possibly have. As a matter of fact, uh, the reason I found this is because I don't know how either of you keep notes for the podcast or to show things off or something, but lately I think what we've been doing is we'll find something interesting and we'll throw it into our group chat, right? And that way we can kind of go back on our chat and recall the things that we talked about throughout the week so we know what we want to talk about on the podcast. One of the tools I use is called Pocket. And it's just it's a bookmarking tool that allows you to just quickly share to this app and then it just keeps a record of this site or whatever you wanted to save. And I was looking at an old list, like an old group that I had, like a, an old list of, of links and things that I wanted to share that were Disney related. And I saw three magical words that I don't ever recall talking about on the podcast. This was from about three years ago. But do the words... Muppets rap battle mean anything to you? I mean, it not that familiar. I. It sounds familiar. I I I immediately think of like epic rap battles of history, but that's probably not what this is. Um, so uh, I'm just uh, curious to see what this is. Okay. Why do I picture Fantastic. Kermit rapping? I don't know why. Oh, I do. because that's part of it. Okay. <laughs> so My here's what's happening, dead. right? <laughs> Uh, there was an old show, I think, on TBS called Drop the Mic, and they would get celebrities to go on there and essentially insult each other through rap, okay? <laughs> and so there's this episode of uh, Drop the Mic where Kermit and Pepe the Prawn are against Miss Piggy and Beaker, okay? <laughs> and it is one of the best things I've <laughs> ever seen. I want to play this for you. And I want to get your reaction and I want to comment on this as we go because, I mean, this is golden. So I'll, link, uh, I'll, I'll do my best to include the audio. If you end up listening to this later, later on on YouTube, I'll just put a link to the video also in the notes because I'm sure that YouTube is going to mute all of the audio. But if you're listening to the podcast form of this, you're just going to hear the audio. So you, are you both ready for this? Because this is... I'm ready. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. Y'all up first. Let's, Let's get it. Right. Okay, okay. Uh, Come on, Carmen. All, right, all right, Joshua, uh, could you please uh, a extend to me a kind and friendly uh, beat of some sort? <laughs> I'm excited to be here competing in rhyme. Now let's all play fair and try to have a good time. So the beaker, hello, and Miss Piggy, what's up? If I had Pepe's arms, I'd give you four thumbs up. And also, Miss Piggy, working with you is rough, because you're so talented, you show the rest of us up. Well, that's my first verse. Was it worth the wait? I'll be listening over here. I'm sure you'll both be great. What kind of rap is this? Is this serious? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. The nicest rap on the planet. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> it's so polite. Also, why is why is Kermit wearing just a white t-shirt? A white t-shirt. Yes. He's just wearing a white t-shirt. And apparently and like jeans. blue shorts or, or jeans? jeans or something. Yes. Yeah. Oh. He's dressed like Bruce Springsteen on the cover of uh, yeah. Board of the USA. <laughs> Maybe he's confused about what he's supposed to be wearing. Like Pepe looks. Like hardcore rap artist, right? Chain and like a puffy jacket, <laughs> like a puffy jacket and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I heard this and I thought, wow, if you were trying to diss, you know, Miss Piggy and Beaker, you did a poor job of that. that like you said, yes. that's the nicest thing you've ever heard, right? All right, mm -hmm. so let's let's move on here because now it's Miss Piggy and Beaker's turn. Why are you saying nice things? Thank you very much. Joshua, yes. let's show him how it's done. All right. <laughs> Kermy, what was that? You even trying to compete? We're on Drop the Mic, not Sesame Street. You used to be a star. It was easy being green. But now you're just a tea sip and glorified meme. And Pippi, yeah. so you knew we're going to win. You're a shrimp for heaven's sake. You should have thicker skin. Ooh. And when I serve you, I won't be 
breakfast with eggs. My menu has just one item, shrimp and frog legs. Oh! <laughs> right? <laughs> so Piggy girl. brings it. <laughs> bringing the heat. Second verse, Piggy is bringing the heat on this one. And I am for this right now. Uh, but I mean, but you expect that from Miss Piggy, right? Of like it's it, it's it's totally Miss Piggy. So, uh, so we're we're gonna go over now. It's now it's Peppa's turn. All right, let's hear All the right. rebuttal. Por favor. <laughs> can Miss Piggy be up here? Was there a safety report? I'm really not sure how much weight the stage can support. <laughs> you think you're so great, but you're clearly mistaken. You may be the pig, but we bring home the bacon. Beaker, that's just a fancy name for a cop. A lab explosion's the only way you ever blow up. I won't look through this pork chop in our evening attire, or a number two pencil who looks like his eraser's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> He's a number two pencil that looks like his eraser's on fire. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, Beppe bringing more heat, right? Making it a little more personal. I'm not sure exactly how I condone that. You know, I think he took a couple of cheap shots there. But for the <laughs> sake of the show... Okay, that was the purpose. That's what these celebrities are here to do. So we went from Kermit being completely clean and nice to now tempers flaring a bit because Piggy and Pepe have now stepped it up, right? I think I know what's going to happen with Peter. I have an idea. Let's see if All right, all right, okay, all right here we go. Come on, guys. Be nice. Be nice. I think this is getting a little heated. Maybe we should just calm it down a little bit. Uh, Miss Piggy, can you lighten the mood just a little what bit, please? What are you kidding? What's wrong with you? Oh, come on. That's a, you know, we're just we're friends. Gonna we're going to lose. We're going to lose with these attitudes. all, Kermit. Uh, see, Miss Piggy gets it. She's going to do Joshua? it. Thank you. <laughs> Why you smiling, Pepe? You shouldn't be so happy. I'll saute you, grill you up, and serve the crowd shrimp. Skip it! Put up! Uh-uh! Don't say that to a lady like a worm and a troll doll. Met and had a baby. It's obvious we won. You guys just sound weaker. So now I'm gonna pass it to my homie here, Beaker. Sorry that he had to uh, use that kind of language. Yeah, yeah, very offensive. Sorry about that. Very offensive. Did you catch all the offensive language that Beaker used? That, that's kind of what I thought was going to happen, but I thought they were going to like start beeping, like bleeping yeah. Beaker, even though he's saying meep the whole time. Like I thought they were going to start start bleeping him. I thought that would have been funnier. Just me, me, beep, 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 beep. beep. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna continue because. I, I, I don't know if you can believe it, but it gets stepped up again. Also, why, this this guy's mm. name's Joshua. And it's just I think it's silly. <laughs> well, Joshua is the guy that's always dropping the beat for everybody. I know, but yeah. my brother's name is Joshua, so that's why I think it's I don't know. I just think it's like <laughs> that's funny. All right, here's this cool right. guy. His name's Joshua. That can drop a beat. He can drop. All right, a here beat. we go. go. Peppa's turn. Hey Joshua. Yeah. Do you want to do one more? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> You wear too much makeup and your hair is too big. I guess that's why they call it putting lipstick on a pig. Oh. And what's your problem, Kermit? Your what? rapping's a joke. What? This is all your fault, Frogs. You're gonna make our team grow. Right. I am not. Come you're on, Kermit. You're on my team, Pepe. Yeah, you're, you're not supposed to do that to me. You're doing all these little yeah, fancy things. You're not supposed pens. to do that. Just I mean, come on. Let's, let's, guys, guys, guys. Let's just be calm. Can someone lay down the law? Does anybody know the word to kumbaya? We should all be friends here. I mean, gee golly gosh, the fact we're even fighting is total hogwash. <laughs> what? There you go. There you go. What did you say? Hogwash. Hey. He said hogwash. I he said hogwash. I didn't mean that. What did you say? That's what he said. I did not mean that at all. Yeah. Hey, what? Just what? Say. Good one. Good one. Good one. So an insult finally comes out of Kermit's mouth, apparently. And uh, then he doesn't mean it, right? Like, he's like, right. let's all sing Kumbaya. He's trying to still keep the peace. All right, so. Gee going, golly gosh. <laughs> gee golly gosh, right? All right, so let's let's finish this off now. Let's finish off strong. Right. Joshua! Yes. <laughs> Kermit, quit it with 
this Nesco routine. Admit you're jealous of my talent. That's why you're green. And Pepe, how dare you? You're clearly a liar. Plus, your mother and your father were both appetizers. You think you have it wrong? I'm stuck with this ginger who's out here looking like Carrot Top's finger. I'm too good for this battle. The only one with class. So all of you Muppets can kiss my <laughs> So there you go. That's the <laughs> Muppets rap battle. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> uh, was it what you were expecting, Andrew? <laughs> uh, I don't know what I was expecting, uh, but it definitely wasn't that. Um, but yeah, I I mean, I kind of had a feeling Ker- Kermit was coming in, uh, be it Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, but other than that, I was not sure what where this was going. Uh, I'm glad we watched it, though. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Uh, I, I'm so glad it was one of those hidden gems uh, that you know you happen to find. And uh, again, this is this has probably been circulating for some time. It's it's a couple years old at this point. But my favorite part is when Beaker just starts like meeping like crazy, and then at the yeah. end, <laughs> you see him just trying to compose himself. Like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say all of that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So uh, I will put the video on the Discord channel in case any of you want to share it with your friends. But I just thought that was super fun. And when you said uh, Muppets earlier and we started talking about all the Muppet babies and everything, I thought, oh, this is it. This is my time to shine. (laughs) (laughs) It was this was one of those like meant to be moments where I found something and it just kind of rolled into what we were talking about. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> love when that happens. Yep. I love it when a plan comes together. Right. Uh, okay, so I want to take a quick moment to thank a fantastic group of people known as the FGP Squad, our podcast for your godparents, because it's their support via Patreon that help make these episodes of Podcateers possible. Uh, if you want more information on how you can become part of the FGP squad, we invite you to check out podcasters.com slash FGP for more information. There you will find a list of some of our top contributors, a little bit about what the FGP squad is all about, a link to our Patreon, uh, and more. And uh, being a part of the FGP squad family does get you some additional perks. You uh, can get some additional content over on Patreon. You get access to our happy hour calls, uh, which as of the publishing of this specific episode we have one coming up this coming saturday december 17th 2022 is our next happy hour call and you get some random free stuff at times i like to mail stuff out at random plus you get a a, an exclusive channel over on discord so we can talk with other members of the fgp squad and get discount codes for podcasters gear and all sorts of stuff so Again, if you're interested, we would love to have you as part of the FGP Squad family. Head over to podcasters.com slash FGP for more info. And, of course, to all of the members of the FGP Squad family, we just want to send a huge thank you for your continued support. Oh, it's the wheel time. 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 I'm introducing this this late into the game already. Wheel time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Flap, 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 flap. Oh, it's done already. Uh, it landed oh. on Jill. Jill! <laughs> I know. I I know. We I joked about it before. And I said, "Bad ah, Jill, Melissa, whatever." But Jill, you know, Jill's kind of you know part of the family. But you know, Jill's not on the show, so Jill deserves uh, her own shout out. So Jill, thank you for being so cool. Um, and what well, I know Jill, so I can say whatever I want about Jill, and uh, it'll be fine, right? Let's go, uh, PG. <laughs> so, I, PG, I'll keep it PG. Yes, please. <laughs> Jill, if you don't know about Jill, my friend Jill, uh, Jill likes Tinkerbell, and that's pretty cool, and uh, iced coffee, um, and uh, yeah, <laughs> Jill, Stitch. you're super awesome. <laughs> Wait, what? Stitch. <laughs> oh, yeah, Stitch. I actually got Jill for uh, Secret Santa one year and got her this, like, Stitch and um, uh, what's the pink one? Stitch and the pink Angel. one. Angel, like, together. It's a little, like, maquette statue thing. So, anyway, you, you know how I am when I get put on the spot. I was like, I know Jill, and then I can't say anything. Um, so She's a cool cat. She's a cool kitten. She's cool cat so and cool. kitten. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Like a boss, Jill. Um, oh, thanks for like being a, a supporter. Like a boss. Um, 
on a boat. Um, what are other SNL like? Uh, uh, what uh, what is that? Uh, Lonely Island. That's who those guys are. Captain so Jack it's a, Sparrow. It's a stitch in a box. Uh, stick, stitch in a box. <laughs> <laughs> Step one: <laughs> cut a hole in the box. Step wow. two: put your stitch in put a box. Put your stitch in a box. <laughs> Step three. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Jill will get a kick out of oh, yes. stitch in a box. Um, that needs to be on so. a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I might Step put three, that on a t-shirt. Breaks, yeah, stitch breaks out of the box and causes havoc <laughs> all over Hawaii. Um, so uh, thank you, Jill, and all the other FGP members. Um, if I haven't mentioned you... And the and I and I didn't see it on the wheel. Let us know on uh, Discord because my wheel is getting a little messy over here, and I don't know who I've I've I might start going around again on another loop, but I might want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. So if I didn't say your name yet, I'll put you specifically on the wheel that I know it lands in a lot on that spot. So um, yeah, just let us yeah. know if I missed you because I totally want to shout out everybody, but uh, I'm bad at keeping track. So. You know what? You know what we can also do is we'll we'll stop for for an episode or two while we go back and listen. So we'll just kind of stop. We'll aggregate our notes and try to figure out who's been shouted out or not, and then we'll just pick it up in the new year again. Oh, Sounds perfect. like a plan. All right, let's do that. So we'll we'll start All again right. in the new year. But ho, I, ho, I ho. do want to put out there what Andrew said is true. If at any point your name has been missed. Please let us know, and we'll do the shout out before we stop and collect all of our notes to make sure that we're getting all of our top contributors uh, shouted out on the podcast. So, uh, yeah, cool cats and kittens. Just cool cats yeah. and kittens. <laughs> cool as a cucumber. So, all right, <laughs> it's your stitch in a box. Is that the name of this episode? Should we call the stitch episode in a box. stitch in a box? I think it could be stitch in a box. Why not? Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> It saves me the trouble of having to figure out what it's going to yep. be called. So boom, <laughs> there we go. We did. It. We should do that every episode. Just figure out the title in the middle. Deal. <laughs> um, you know what? This is a perfect transition because this just landed in Dreamlight Valley. It's a good way to yeah, just end did. the episode. Um, so I just have a quick update. I know we were going to talk about the update and you know see where we kind of stand with everything. Uh, first of all. Do you, what are your thoughts a week into the update? Do you still feel pretty strongly about it? Have you had some issues with it? You, what are your thoughts on it now? I'm now getting crashes. <laughs> I was so happy thinking, oh, it's really good. It was going good. And then suddenly I'm like, crash, crash. It's like, eh, all right. But overall, the gameplay is actually pretty good. I'm trying to slow down on the Christmas stuff and everything, so I don't want to get through it so fast. But, um, I mean, I can't complain, really, besides the crashes. That's it. Yeah. Uh, you and me have different philosophies. Uh, I have already almost finished all of the new stuff already. <laughs> um, uh, I have my last mission with Buzz that I'm trying to collect a billion flowers for. Um, but other than that... Um, uh it's yeah i'm I'm basically done other than stitch i haven't got stitch yet because i forgot that that was a thing so i have to do that but tips now collect blue flowers from uh, it, you know from uh for the forest the plaza and the uh what's the third one the glade Everywhere, you know, blue flowers. You need, you need like twenty of each blue flowers oh, wow. from each of those places, oh, wow. so and you only get like between two and five per like sprouting. And so what I've been doing is like collecting all of the flowers in the area, <laughs> and then hopefully they sprout again. And you know sometimes I forget, so it's taken me a little while to do that. But uh, I've enjoyed the update. I d I think I've had a little bit less. I guess less lag for sure. Um, I've still had some crashes. It seems to be about an hour in or so still. Um, and it seems to happen less if I don't do, you know, go between the wells. Um, so that seems to be like one of the big crash points, uh, at least for me, is in the uh, the wells. So, yeah, it's I, I like the Christmas stuff. I got a Christmas tree and I got Santa's sleigh and 
all kinds of stuff. I've been trying to to complete the Dream Path or whatever it's called, the the special Christmas Madoodle yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. So I got I think I have all of the the like big prizes. Like, you know, there's like two or three big ones in each section. I have all of those already. So I got like Merlin's costume and Mickey's costume and da 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 Yeah. So um, I've been, you know, slugging away at it, trying to get uh, get everything. So now it's getting enough for all those motifs and stuff. Uh, But yeah, I've been having a good time. Um, We'll see for Stitch. The Stitch one is weird because you you pick up a sock or whatever and then you got to wait five days. And then another one shows up. And then you got to wait five more days. And if you forget about it, well, you've just wasted a bunch of days. So <laughs> the Stitch one yeah. takes a little longer than the than the other ones. Yeah. I think for Stitch, there's also um, some Dreamlight Valley tasks in that, that play into getting Stitch as well. So make sure that you're doing all of the holiday stuff whenever they come mm-hmm. up as part of the the Valley tasks. But... Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, I'm kind of in between where both of you are, right? Like, I've gotten crashes, but not to the point where I was getting them before. So I'm still pretty comfortable uh, sticking to what I said last time we talked about it, where I recommend people getting the game because I think it's enjoyable enough now and it's fast enough that it doesn't feel like you're bogged down by the slowness of the game or anything. Uh, plus, if you're not uh, trying to become the pumpkin king of Dreamlight Valley, then you should be okay because that was causing a lot of my slowdowns because a thousand pumpkins, you know, being harvested at once kind of dampers your gameplay a little bit. So, uh, so quick update on that in particular in a moment. But uh, I'm I started the Dream Path for for the holidays. I've only gotten through the first page of it. Uh, I've been limiting my gameplay to about an hour at a time because I'm still trying to chronicle everything. I'm still trying to record it. The goal is still to put it all up on YouTube at some point. But yeah, I've been limiting to about an hour gameplay so that the game doesn't crash on me. So I don't really know if I can play longer without it crashing. And I've only had one crash the entire week, which is fantastic. Like, it's only crashed on me one time. And I I don't remember even when or why it crashed. But it might be in one of the videos. Um, outside of that, I'm, I'm just loving how fast it is now. So thank you for the tip about the blue flowers. Now I know I have to set up a chest outside and start collecting blue flowers. <laughs> blue flowers. Uh, so now the Pumpkin King update. <clears throat> so... I have to humbly come back and admit, Andrew, you are absolutely correct. Yes, I knew it. About what? I (laughs) went back and I looked at the 167,000 plus pumpkins that I had. I don't know how many I had, but it was a lot. And the reason Uh I knew it was that many was because I started trying to cook the pumpkin puffs because Uh the pumpkin puffs were netting 1,400 coins or something insane versus the 664 that a pumpkin gives me. And I thought, wow, that's that's awesome that, you know, I'm going to cook all these pumpkin puffs and let's see how many I can get done before the end of the year. And I was like, challenge accepted. And I was like, gung ho that I was going to make everything into pumpkin puffs and sell them. Uh, But then I started to crunch the numbers. And mm-hmm. this is this is just a loose analysis. You know, this isn't to the second or millisecond or anything, but this is just a loose analysis that I ran yeah, the yeah, other yeah. night. Yeah. I set up a timer and I thought, okay, I'm going to see how long it takes me to make 50 of these pumpkin puffs, right? And then I multiplied that, you know, by how many pumpkins I had. And then mm-hmm. I divided by 60 minutes. And I came to the conclusion that it was going to take me 300 approximately 314 hours to convert Mm -hmm. all of my pumpkins to pumpkin puffs. And mind you, this is 314 hours of me playing continuously, which obviously I cannot do because I have a full-time job, full-time parent, full-time husband, etc. Right? So this, it's just not feasible. So when you first suggested, why don't you just sell the pumpkins, right? I thought, pasha! I am going to create (laughs) pumpkin puffs and make so much more money. (laughs) You know, I I thought I was going to be rich. And uh, that is not the case. I am at the point where I'm just going to sell the pumpkins and just get what I get for them. 
And the new plan is going to be, uh, because I want to finally start decorating the valley, and the plan, once all of these tasks and everything are finished, is, uh, you know, we talked about doing the live streams and doing kind of like a community decorating for certain things. If we end up doing that, then uh, I, I need to clear out all of those pumpkins, right? I need to clear the space so we can finally start decorating and, and doing some stuff in the valley the way it was meant to be played. And, um, yeah, I, I, I am conceding, officially conceding the fact that I was going to cook all of those pumpkin puffs. I believe that I can still be the pumpkin king, but just with pumpkins and not pumpkin puff. So I won't be the pumpkin puff king. But the new plan is probably cut my pumpkin growing in half. So probably do about 500. And then... This is too many pumpkins. And, <laughs> and, then, and then I'll consider on a daily basis, on one of those days where I just kind of just need to veg out, pun intended, and just not think about what I'm doing. Then on those days, I'll probably convert a couple hundred pumpkins into pumpkin puffs and sell those for slightly more scratch. But in the meantime, I'm just going to concede and take my winnings for all the hard work in my harvesting of pumpkins and pumpkins alone. All right. Well, so hear me out real quick. So how much of the other things in the first of all, have you do you know this thing about the the tree in the well? Do you know this thing about this tree in the yeah. well? Okay. Yeah, I saw a video about it the other day, and I had no idea. I was not paying attention. Yeah, uh, so just, yeah, uh, just the quick FYI about the tree in the well is the more dreamlight tasks that you complete, the more your tree will grow. So the tree, the well in the plaza has this, like, purple, bluish, greenish tree wrapping itself around your well. And the more dreamlight tasks that you complete, the more the tree grows. There's, like, four stages to it specifically the the not the daily but the all the other ones the, the all the other the ones correct da, 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 correct da, da. so how how far along are you on those tasks uh i want to say that i'm in stage three right now because i got a fully like an almost fully formed tree at this point i'm okay. i'm bordering on the end of stage three entering stage four I'm just wondering how much money is is going to be enough for you and how <laughs> what about have have you like uh made all of the stuff that you can make in the like the the like crafting stations you have collected all of those things That's and, the next thing. Like, yeah. I think, so, I think honestly, that sounds like a good thing and maybe like 100 pumpkins would be enough pumpkins. You're crazy. So because if you, you want to know where this is born, have a hundred million co star coins. I don't think you'll ever need to harvest another pumpkin. No. So here's the thing. This is where this came from. I saw this post somewhere where somebody says, "Oh, I sold five hundred thousand like pump or like five. I got five hundred thousand coins from selling all these pumpkins." And I thought, oh, yeah, well, that's pretty easy. That's just a couple hundred pumpkins or whatever, right? And I thought, mm -hmm. oh, well, what if I could make, you know, 100,000, I mean, a, a million per, mm -hmm. per pumpkin thing, right, per sale? And then from there, I thought, well, people are already breaking the million because a lot of other people have about the same amount of pumpkins that I have and they're harvesting. But then once they hit the million or two million point, they were like, all right, well, this is cool, right? I have enough to buy enough from Scrooge, and next time I need it, I'll just harvest another 1,000 pumpkins, and I'll be good to go for a while longer. The problem with that is that I, I wanted to see how far I could take it before the game broke. And I, 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 I had mixed feelings about it because I was so far in the game that I was afraid I was going to break it and I wasn't going to be able to retrieve it. But then again, I also wanted to see how far I could push it before the game was like, okay, enough already. And I don't think I ever got there. Plus, can I be the first person to reach, you know, a, a billion? All right, Elon Hazen. What Hell no. What's going on over here? No oh way. <laughs> He's in Bezos. I like to share the wealth. I'm not keeping you're it like for a, myself. You're like a combination between Hazen and Oprah. We got to call you Oprah. Perfect. That's 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 a Malibu's most wanted reference if anybody's seen that movie. So, yeah, so honestly, I think I've reached the point where 
it, you're right. I mean, having that many coins is at at a certain point kind of dumb, right? Because there's not enough to buy in the game, and it's not like Animal Crossing where when I made so many co- or when I got so many bells from selling all the turnips that I had, like I had a couple billion turnips that whenever somebody new started playing I was like here here's a hundred thousand bells for you so you can just go buy whatever you want you know get you started off right on your island right buy yourself something nice and like I can't <laughs> and it was much that. appreciated of course and I can't even though do I that don't play anymore yet in Disney Dreamlight Valley like I feel like that's a feature that's coming at some point and so if I just have something set aside to, you know, for a rainy day, whatever I got to do, or if I can give people some money to get them started, then great. Or give them a million pumpkins. <laughs> well, I mean, or, by then they'll know, just be coins. The, I, could just, I mean, look, who's to say that one day they won't let you build a money bin and they'll let you convert those coins into real coins and you can swim through your money? How dope would Ooh. that be? That would be fun. Pays them to have the <laughs> biggest money bin. I guess that's right. That's, that's, Scrooge will yeah. be like, ah, your money bin. It's bigger than mine. I'm sure yeah, that's I, how Scrooge talks. I don't know. He he talks <laughs> just like that. He just talks just like a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. I can't. I'm I can't, sorry, Scrooge. I can't do. I can't do uh, any better <laughs> than you just did. And I won't try. So so there you go. That's kind of where I stand. So I just wanted to officially come on here and concede the fact that I have finally listened to you and I have decided to not convert those pumpkins into pumpkin puffs. I would just take my winnings as they are. I'm going to walk away from the table with what I have at this point and then right. cut down the pumpkin growing in half, maybe a third. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> it just depends on how I decorate stuff. But I did decide that I'm probably going to contain the pumpkin growing to the forgotten lands, which is where, where they're they, native yeah. to. And they then everywhere better. else I'm just gonna kinda decorate, you know, whatever with so the Forgotten Lands is boring anyway. I don't even go in there except to buy pumpkins. So Well, there's like, a pumpkin house, so I figured that's the best place. Yeah, well that's that, don't they grow better in the place that you buy them, like in theory? I've never that's understood the say. whole better I don't part. Know. Because like they faster, grow at the like, exact No, they all grow at the same time. No. Yeah. Well, then I don't know. Then that was a lie. <laughs> I Which is fine because I've been growing all of my stuff in the, the uh, whatever that one's called, where Goofy's house was. The meadow. Oh, okay. The meadow, yeah. yeah. I, have I moved Goofy's meadow. house. It's not there anymore, but that's where I grow my – that's my garden area. I, I moved all the trees from everywhere into there. Oh, right, right, right. So you I leveled all, Mickey and Minnie's garden. I was like, you know what, Mouse? This, this, yep, this is gone. my section now. The meadow is my garden. The whole thing. I got trees. I got <laughs> my little cage to put put them in. So when <laughs> when I have to collect the pumpkins, oh, they don't. yes, I do the, my little cage thing. I like that. The uh, explosion of pumpkins has been the best I tip like that it. I've gotten. And ever since you told me about it, I do nothing less. <laughs> Thanks, person the way, on the internet. By the way, the update has made it so that when their butt explodes with all those pumpkins, uh, it doesn't crash my game anymore, which is pretty awesome. Good. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Are you doing I that? Have, do you do them in, in bursts? Like I have you to. Do like 200 yeah. or 100 I, or something? And I do somewhere between 150 and 200 because I realize that if I do more than that, they stop glowing and then I have to sit there and manually yeah, pick you run them or, up. Yeah, you run yeah. out of. Yeah, time. Yeah. So about about 150 to 200, and then I just uh, relock up whoever, and then I go back. Also, I did notice that Mickey tends to crash the game. I don't know if that's the case with the update, but Scrooge was also one of my harvesting friends, so I usually use Scrooge because, you know, it's money-related, and I figured I'd have the most fun with Scrooge collecting pumpkins gotcha. for money. So I also had watched a video that somebody did a test, and – the more people that you have as gardening friends, the more like extra pumpkins or extra things you get. So like if you had like huh. if you had like three gardening buddies versus like six gardening buddies, you would ha- get more like ten percent more with six than you do with three. 
I so I have that's everybody why I'm but so many. Yeah. I have everybody but like five of them as gardening. So I'm I'm pretty similar, I think. I forgot who, but I I probably have about four or five of them as gardening buddies as well. Because it was the easiest way to level them up. Right? Yeah. Whenever you were harvesting, yeah. it was easy. I have like 12 as gardening buddies. I have oh. every I have what I have one <laughs> for every other one. Like or one or two. Like I have Merlin and Merlin and Mickey and Goofy and somebody else do other things. Every but literally everybody else is gardening because it's the easiest way to level them up. So yep. I pick gardening every time. I don't care. I don't need uh gems aren't that necessary or fishing. Like I'm all, like I go to Moana's boat and there's a bunch of fish there. Whatever. Yeah. Like <laughs> I didn't know that was the case though. Had I known I would have made everybody gardening. I'm going to I'll see if I can find the video cuz it was like the this video person that made the video was uh just kind of doing they started a new game and like started with one gardening buddy then two, you know, then planted like 100 pumpkins or 100 whatever. I think they did a. I don't think it was pumped. It was something that grew fast, and they did a hundred whatever, and took how many notes, and then got another one, got another one, got another one, got another one, and it had exponentially, <clears throat> not exponentially, but it did. It did get more as the more gardening buddies. I don't know if there's a cap on that, but interesting. Who knows? It's an interesting test, but at this point, of I'm my, happy with yeah. my pumpkins. Of my a hundred, I plant a hundred and ninety-eight pumpkins every time. And I get somewhere between five, uh, like five eighty and like six fifty pumpkins from mm. from less than two hundred. So it's more than yeah. double. Yeah, mine's about the same. I have nine hundred and it's just under a thousand. It's like nine ninety eight or something like that. It's uh, like nine ninety eight, and I usually by the end of everything I have about twenty two hundred pumpkins. Mm -hmm. See, here's here's my why I have. Uh, one I have one ninety eight because that's uh two things of ninety nine and it's the easiest number to yeah. get to. <laughs> so I made my my pumpkin card the same. So I just go get two things and come back because I don't stash them like you do. Well, that was a mistake because now I've realized that after stashing them all, that the idea was to make a video of me selling them originally before the idea was to create the pumpkin puffs. The good thing about making the pumpkin puffs is that because they're in storage, I don't have to go pull them out. Just, I can just cook yeah. and cook and cook, and as long as they're in my storage, I can just you make just what I need. have to buy need. a bunch of cheese and exactly. whatever ahead of time. But now that I'm going to just sell the pumpkins, I have to pull them all out of each individual chest. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm going to end up with like 400 chests that I have like no need for. <laughs> anymore so i don't know we'll we'll figure something out if anybody needs chess once we can give stuff away in dreamlight valley let me know don't make any i have a whole bunch that i can just give you they need to make it so you can put more stuff in chess exactly yes. <laughs> it's agree. annoying look at all those slots and yep. they're all like grayed out yep i don't need 40 chests with full of grass where yep. where else am i gonna put this grass <laughs> yep i guess i could sell the grass you could. But I don't know. You could. But what if I need it at some point? That's what I've been saving it for. Like, I remember when we first started getting rich soil, I thought, we're going to need this for something. And I saved a couple full chests. Like, it's 99 across the board in each of, like, the mm -hmm. 16 slots in both. And sure enough, we got these two new things from Merlin that require all sorts of rich soil and a couple of gems to make these crazy new potions that that he gave us. So anyway, Aha! that's it. That's our Dreamlight Valley update. Sorry to say I'm not going to be able to convert everything to pumpkins. I just don't have that type of time. It was a fun idea when I first thought of it. And then when I started going into practice, when I started putting it to practice, I thought, this is ridiculous. Why would I ever want to do this? And so here we are. I'm just going to sell all the pumpkins. I will make a video where I kind of speed through the pumpkin selling process, though, because I am mm -hmm. curious to see how many I'm going to end up with at the end. And I just think that's going to be a fun video to create. I'm crossing my fingers that I don't crash the game. But we'll the, fir the first Streamlight Valley billionaire. Ooh. I'm pretty sure that somebody that has more time to play has probably already reached that milestone. But mm. I think it'll just Within be fun circle, for me though. to do it. <laughs> 
uh, within yeah, our circle. First, probably within first of our us. circle. It'll yeah. Be us. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure that at some point, somebody that has way more time to play than I do already figured this out and probably went out and did it. And they probably had time to convert all their pumpkins to pumpkin puffs. You know what? I will say that growing less pumpkins and converting a bunch of them to pumpkin puffs could be the way that I get the same amount. Nah, it's still a lot of time. Never mind. Forget about the damn pumpkin puffs. I'm <laughs> just, just sell the pumpkins. pumpkins. Yeah, that's it. We're done. That's it. All that's right. it. That's going to end the, end the episode. Anything else you want to talk about before we wrap up today? Uh, we already talked about it, about Quizneyland this week. It's a Christmas episode. Yay! Because uh, Chris, Chris, it's the episode before Christmas, since it's every other week. So uh, there'll be Christmas questions and Yay! and stuff. So yes. ho ho ho! Um, yeah, I sound very excited about it, but <laughs> it's already <laughs> recorded. I don't have to do anything. Nice. Well, that's gonna be going up in a uh, in a day after this episode launches. Yep. So look out for that. Part of the Podcasters Network. We're super happy that Quizneyland is a part of that. So that's it. That's going to wrap it up. We're going to go get some rest, probably take some medication to help and uh, get some rest. Wait, I still have to edit this and then uh, I'll get uh-uh. some rest. Yes, I shall do that first. All right. Okay. That's going to wrap it up for this episode. Uh, until next time, keep dreaming, keep moving forward, and always remember to pass on the magic. Have a fantastic week, everyone. Bye. See ya. Part of the Podcateers Network.